In this video tutorial, we're going to download PenDrive and Linux CNC, use PenDrive Linux to make a bootable USB to install Linux CNC, and we're going to set up the BIOS so that you can use the image straight off the USB. All right, let's begin. So first, go to Google and then type in PenDrive. PenDriveLinux.com should be the first link to show up on Google. Click on it. Then you should see the popular USB installer. Click on it. And then with your universal USB installer, here's the instructions, but I'll take you through on how to do that. And then just download the UUI. Once you have that downloaded, navigate to linuxcnc.org. And then click download. And then download the image right here. Once you have those two things downloaded, navigate to your download folder. If you don't have this, you could go to start, computer, and then you could go to download. Alright, so click on your university USB installer. It's your user account control. It's, it's pretty safe for the most part. Hit yes. Agree, because you read it. We're going to scroll all the way down. We're going to try an unlisted Linux ISO. Well, you could try these other ones. For the most part, Linux CNC is based off Ubuntu. But we're just going to do this one. Try unlisted Linux ISO. We're going to browse for the image. Your image should be in your downloads. Click on Linux CNC. Hit open. And be very careful when you do this because if you pick the wrong flash drive, uh, you will wipe out your computer's information, memory, you know, the important stuff. I'm not responsible if you do do that, so please read carefully what you're doing. This is the USB I'm using. Uh, I should say flash drive. And then we can format it and erase the content. Let's just go for it just to make sure that we have a clean ISO image install. Hit create. It's going to ask us if everything is right. We'll just read through it real quickly. More carefully, I should say. And that looks good. So hit yes. And you're going to get a couple of things pop up. Um, these are completely normal. You should see this. Usually this takes around, depending on your system, it could take a minute to 10 minutes to an hour. Everyone's system is different, so bear with me. Okay. Once everything's done, you should see at the bottom, installation done. Process is complete. Hit close. And we could check our USB. And it looks like everything got... Yes, yeah, yep, everything was installed properly. If you don't see anything like this, just repeat the steps and try again. But I'm pretty confident if you followed everything step by step, it should work. Alright, now this is done. We will reject our USB and remove it. And then we'll go to the next step using a cheap, refurbished $130 eBay computer. For this part of the video, we will be creating a partition to put Linux CNC on, and I will also show you how to set up the BIOS so that your computer can directly load from the USB. So let's begin. First, navigate to your search bar. And by the way, I'm using Windows 10 for the setup because that's what came with the machine. I want to type in partition. And then it says create and format a hard disk partition. Hit enter. Once this loads up, right hand click, shrink volume. And it's going to ask us the amount of space we'd like to shrink in megabytes. Um, since this computer has a limited amount of storage, I'm just going to create 20,000 megabytes, which is equivalent to 20 gigabytes. Hit shrink. 
Now we got 19.53 gigabytes unallocated. Right hand click, new simple volume, hit next, hit next. Well, yep, we'll create a drive E, no biggie. Hit next. Um, you could change the label to whatever you want, but it don't matter really. Next. And it's gonna ask us some stuff to make sure everything's good. Mm-hmm. Finish. All right, now we got an E drive created. Okay, now here's where it starts to get a little difficult. We'll close out of this. We're going to go to our little Windows thing. We're going to go to Power. Restart. And depending on your computer system, your BIOS hotkeys could be either F12, F11, Escape, F10, F9, or F8. I am going to keep tapping F12 to enter the boot menu. And I have a selection to choose from. I am going to choose USB device. Um, if you don't see that, you could go to your system setup, as shown here, and locate your boot sequence. Hit enter. And you could just move these up and down based on how your BIOS is set up. According to this one, we just need to press U or D to change the device order. So we can move this all the way up like that, just in case it doesn't show up on your list. So let's see. That looks. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna move this one up. Let's see. That looks good. Okay. Hit enter. Hit escape. Save and exit. And then hit F12 to enter the boot menu. And we will select USB device. Navigate down to install graphical. Select your language. I speak English. I live in the United States. And let's see here. I do use the American English keyboard. Let's see, it's detecting network hardware right now. It more than likely won't find anything. Let's see, yes, I know I'm missing media, so I'm just going to select no. And then it's going to say network auto configuration failed. Hit continue. And I do not want to configure the network at this time. Continue. Let's just call it CNC. You can call it whatever you want, but CNC will work for this host. Let's see here. We want to use a username that means something to us or not. I'm just going to use CNC. Click continue, and then it's going to lowercase your username. Click continue. Choose the password. Click continue. I am central. And we want to, depending on what you want to do, you could just use this to erase what you have on your current hard drive and replace it with Linux CNC. Or we could do manual and use the partition that we created to install Linux CNC on. We're going to do manual, continue. Uh, this should be the partition that we did. Um, if you're not sure, always never hurts just to go check. Um, I'm pretty confident that it's this one. Yours might be different. Um, this is the main hard drive and this is the 
part of the partition that is on Windows 10 and this is just the blank partition that we created and this is just some random garbage and this is our flash drive Uh, automatically partition the free space, continue. And that should be good to go. That looks correct, continue. And now it is installing the system. Okay, install the GRUB boot loader on the hard disk. Let's see here. Do we want to? Might as well. Can't hurt anything. Okay, the installation is complete. Now we just need to remove our flash drive and hit continue. Okay, that looks good. Alright, you'll be given a menu and it'll give you options to what you would like to select. Um, this is going to be our Linux CNC software. And on the bottom, that's going to be, it won't be Windows Vista, it's just called Windows Vista Loader. That should be the previous operating system you left on your computer. For this computer, it was Windows 10. But we want to go to Linux CNC. It's going to ask for our login and our password. Congratulations! You have just installed Linux CNC. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.